What's up people, we are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. Apparently months have already passed since were the events of the previous video, which is basically the epic culinary battle between Lin and Rosary. And I don't know how we somehow survived that, but Lin surprisingly was had amazing cooking skills and for some reason, yeah, in that last little bit of uh, little piece where Lin and um, Tadayoshi were sort of saying bye bye and whatnot, for some reason I have a feeling that there's something between those two. It's hard to say though, but considering that there are quite a lot of girls in the story, and if you were to try and find a love connection, to me personally, the one that seems the most likely at the moment is Lin and Tadayoshi, but. Then again, we're still somewhat, uh, Nina is still somewhat our fiancé, right? So that might be awkward, I don't know. Maybe there's even like zero love connection whatsoever. So anyway, let us continue. It's, it's been months later, so apparently we've been uh, adapting well to life in the church and the slums and just this entire area here. Lin, I want to challenge you. After the basic training, including running and stretching, I tried to challenge Lin. Come on, did the training drive you insane? Look kid, I know you've gotten a little stronger with training, but do you really think you can beat me? No matter how hard you try, it's impossible to defeat me. I expected that answer from Lin. I haven't gotten a chance to, uh, of beating her in anything involving muscle. I mean, in fighting. I'm not crazy enough to pick a fight with you at my current level. I want to challenge you at this. I take a deck of cards out of my pocket and show them to Lin. Cards, huh? Where did you find those? Lin looks at me suspiciously. These weren't easy to get a hold of since I don't get much spending money while I'm living at the church. <laughs> it's like a little boy that gets uh, an allowance every now and again from his mommy rosary. The people in the slums gave me this on their way here. Huh? Those scum gave you that? Lin's eyes become even wider. It's no wonder Lin isn't friends with any of them. They fear her even. Yeah, I've been getting on well with them. <laughs> what, even the guy in the jumpsuit? <laughs> so they gave it to me as a token of friendship. You and Rosary and those kids at the church, you sure are good at making friends. <laughs> That's the only strong point I have now. Are you jealous? Nah. Lin replies in a surly tone. She isn't really interested in connecting with people. They say it's a miracle if someone gets along with Lin. One of them even said it would only happen once every hundred years. So, are you going to challenge me at cards? Yeah, I've been trying to remember how to play poker. I heard that poker is more about mind than technique. It's all about reading people's thoughts via their gestures. If I can lure her into a game of wits, I can probably beat her. Ha, <laughs> I've never lost a game of poker in the slums. You couldn't even one, uh, win one times in a billion against me. You might as well give up. I know you are far more experienced than me, but I am confident in this. I taunt Lin as I point to my head. Uh-huh. If you really want to, I'll do it. What are you going to bet? Huh? Bet? Can't we just play for fun? Uh, are you really going to play poker without me any uh, without anything to bet? Only children play poker without betting, and I don't play children's games. Oh, this isn't how I'd expected. I just wanted to beat Lin at poker and brag about it. <laughs> so we're playing for bragging rights then, right? She always took advantage of me in training, so I wanted a little revenge. Okay, I'll bet today's dessert, wrapped manju. Huh? Are you serious? What? Is it not enough? I wanted to keep it for myself. <sighs> you really know nothing. If you're gonna bet me on a game, if you're gonna gamble, you always have to bet this. Lin makes the universal hand gesture for money. 
so she wants me to play cards with her for money. Money, money, money. There's no way he can afford to do that. This should stop him. So we have the option of I'm not going to bet my money or still challenging Lin and betting all that I have. The thing is, was it considered gambling last time, the, the thing with the coin flip? Like at that particular moment, the, the butterfly kicked in, right? We had that specific vision. Maybe the butterfly will always help us when we're gambling and it will help us this time as well. I'm just somewhat confident, even though I shouldn't be, that I'm going to win in bet betting or gambling against her just because we have a zero and one record against her. Now that could that one time could always just be a fluke, and I could lose 990 times 999 times in a row right now against her. But you know what? I want to make my lead at least two zero or just stop it at 50 50. So I'm still gonna challenge Lin and bet all that I have. I think it over for a moment. All right, I'll bet all my spending money. Is that enough for you? I just have to defeat her, no matter what it takes. Lin said she'd never lost at poker. That's probably because she only ever played in the slums. Oh yeah, this is normal people rules now. Not to imply, okay, people in the slum are normal people, as we've all seen by now. I wanted to like try not to, to offend those people, but yeah, they are bad crap crazy, so... So she's probably never had to deal with mind games and bluffing. If I exploit that, I am sure I will win. Ah, uh, I can see you really want to do this. Alright, but remember, don't whine if you lose all the money you've got. Okay, her strong gaze pushes me back a little, but I can't afford to back down before we've even started. Oh yeah, here we go, look at this, playing cards. After I've shuffled awkwardly and dealt out the cards, I look at my hand. My hand is an ace of hearts, the jack of clubs, the three and five of spades, and the two of diamonds. Great, no pairs. Here we go, what does Lin have? Lin stares into my face. Is she trying to read my hand via my face? I'm going to like this. That's what I wanted. From what I read in the books, the dealer asked if they've got anything better than a pair of jacks, queens, or kings, but it seems they don't observe the more complicated rules in the slums, so I'll play their way. Since Lin and I are the only players, we swap dealer duties each turn. The rules are simple, each player starts with 10 coins. The game is over when one player has lost all their coins. Players can exchange cards with the deck once per bet. They can fold it if they want, but they, uh, but they will have to pay their opponent one coin to do so. If neither folds, the player with the better hand wins, and receives a coin from their player. So basically we have to lose 10 times? Folding multiple times ruins the fun, so players cannot fold on consecutive turns. Those are the novice level rules for poker in the slums. There's still enough room for mind games, and there's more depth to the game if the rules are kept simple. It's not hard to get, guess what he's thinking, as usual. His thoughts are playing on his face. Given his smile, I bet he's got a good hand. As for mine, a pair of jacks, and that's it. Now, what should I do? Hmm, Lin's completely expressionless. I have no idea what she's thinking. Is that her poker face? Lin is no longer staring at me and is now looking at her own hand. Oh, I forgot to make a bet. Wait, I think I can shake her with the amount I'm going to bet. Hmm, it's going to be interesting. If I bet more coins, that should make her believe I'm confident with my hand. It also works the other way but I'll bet I could convince her to fold if I bet high enough. That is the gamesmanship I wanted to display. I'll bet 5. What about you? I'm going to bet half of my coins, despite the fact that I've got nothing. Alright, I was stupid. When I said before that you basically have to lose 10 times in a row, obviously you can bet 
more than one coin every single time because that's how poker works I don't know why I thought that you could only put one coin every single time because that doesn't make sense uh huh you must be pretty confident with your hand well I don't know how good you are at poker so I'll bet too Lin puts two coins in the pool okay now it begins I'll swap one card I discard the three of spades and I got the four of hearts in return so I still have nothing Lin swaps two cards I'll bet she's got three of a kind but I'm also thinking she's up to something Oh, it's getting fun this is how games should be played now we're done with swapping we can raise after swapping cards but what should I do hmm. he's only swapped one card so I guess he's going for either a full house flush or straight he's gonna need a lot of luck for four of a kind but on my side it's two pairs of jacks and sevens Lin's staring at my face again, but she's got two pairs, that's pretty good of a hand. I'm not experienced at poker whatsoever, I've played it a couple of times, and I've actually managed to win a couple of times, but that was just through sheer dumb luck and whatnot, so yeah, I've told that before. Lin's staring at my face again. But from his smirk, I think he's got something good. Good thing he's so expressive, that I can practically read his thoughts. I think it's best to fold. I'm not folding this time. What about you? Well, I'll fold. She handed me a coin. I'm aware that I'm wearing a huge smirk. Because I fooled Lin. <laughs> he actually did. <laughs> that, that's a good way to, to play that part to your advantage. Like, I don't have a good poker face, therefore I can try to, you know, put a lot of expression in my face that would make her think that she's reading my face and therefore reading my cards but in fact it's she is reading my face but she's not getting accurate information from me that's the thing okay let's show our hands huh you fooled me Lin opens her eyes wide and looks at my hand oh yes I was looking forward to seeing her look of surprise phew you got a two pairs that was close if Lin hadn't folded I'd have lost 5 coins to her, but I like this kind of tension. Hmm, that ticks me off. Oh my god, why did she get mad? Huh? I can practically see flames emanating from her. But I can't believe she got that angry over one loss. She's got way too short of a fuse. C calm down, Lin. Poker is a gamble where tricks and tactics play important roles, don't you know? <laughs> All right, boy, you made me real, so I'm going to teach you the fear of gambling in this place. Be prepared. Oh no, we unleashed the beast. Roughly 30 minutes have passed since I started playing poker with Lin. Now I have 6 coins, while Lin has 14s, so I'm losing right now. Yay, a good hand. I can finally catch up to her, no matter how hard I try. Three of a kind was the best I could do, but now I have a full house. Meanwhile, Lin kept playing bigger hands such as full house, flush, and straight. And when I did get three of a kind, she folded. I didn't expect it to be a one-sided game, but fortune has smiled upon me. I'm going to take my chance. In situations like this where I think I have a good hand, I always tend to show it immediately with how much I put in. I I'm never a per person that's um whenever i play poker I, I it is just so weird i tend to go all in often even when i don't have a hand that makes it logical to go all in or like to go very heavily to put in a lot of uh, you know to to commit very heavily on that hand and then it just ends up being crap so yeah i, I don't have a strategy when it comes to poker at all it's just like I'll feel like going f uh, all in this time and then sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Lin folded the last game, so she can't fold this time, and I'm dealing. I'm going to bet 4 more coins. I didn't fold or bet more when Lin was dealing when I started losing, so I've survived this far. I'm going to push my luck, 
That's my only option. Why am I not going to bet uh, all I have? I'm just being cautious in my approach. I'm not a weak boy like Alan. The thing that I would imagine in this situation where like, yeah, I only have six coins and I'm losing right now. If I go all in, that would kind of signal to her like, okay, he's got a really good hand. There's no reason for me to commit. So it's either she's going to fold immediately. Therefore, I'm not getting enough winnings out of my good hand, right? Because with a good hand, you want to play smart in a way where you actually get enough coins in return from it right you don't want to let them know immediately i have a good hand so you have to bend in enough to make them want to commit some coins into it as well but not in, uh, so much that they will fold immediately by not wanting them to take the risk for it i'm just being cautious in my uh, all right we already did this uh-huh i'll play show me your hand ta-da full house i got this one Give me your coins, now! Oh, does she have something better? But Lin smiles at me. Too bad. I've got four of a kind here, so I win. You lose. Come on, give me your coins. <gasps> here. It's like I've fallen from heaven straight down to hell. I regretfully give Lin five coins. Now I only have one coin left. There's no turning back. Doesn't matter, come back of the century right here. I can't even fold because that'll cost me a coin. So, this will be the last one. We don't know that for sure. I've still got a chance at winning. Ha, <laughs> brag while you can. Lin skillfully shuffles the deck. Her shuffling speed is faster than my eyes can follow. Hmm, a pair of tens. In theory, I could swap the other three to try and get a better hand. No cards to change here. What are you going to do? Dang, so she's not swapping cards. She isn't even looking at me. It tells me that she's got a good hand and assuming she's victorious. She doesn't fold and I can't. I think I should swap all my cards and let luck handle it for me. I can't try any tactics at the moment. That's kind of true, you have to go all in in this situation, like I'm not satisfied with my hand. I have to play this round out no matter what, so luck take me away. I swap out all the cards in my hands. Two of spades, four and nine of hearts. Uh, four and nine of hearts, jack of diamonds and king of clubs. No pairs. It's hopelessly bad and worse than any other hands I could have come up with. What a bad hand to end up with. This makes me 100% sure I lost the match. Show me a hand already. You can't run, so be a man and show it. Uh, Lin stares at me with a sharp gaze. I've got no other choice. I've got no pairs. Damn it. Take my money. I hand Lin the last coin I had. Hey, aren't you wondering what I got? Hmm. <laughs> I guess you've got a good one as usual. Lin shows me her hand with a smirk. Huh? I shouted aloud in surprise. Lin showed me a pair of threes. Yeah, gotcha. I'm feeling good now. Dang it. Lin took revenge on me by doing what I did to her in the first game. She was really so frustrated that she felt like she needed revenge on a newbie like me. <laughs> I lost to you in tactics, didn't I? I can't beat her in fighting, but I can't beat her in a game of wits like poker. And I was completely wrong about that, as she proved. Maybe now you'll accept that you suck at gambling, kid. So never try it with anyone but me. Don't even entertain the thought. I agree. Maybe it'd be best if I don't gamble in the future. There goes our 10 coins. Actually. I've been thinking of earning some money by gambling, but considering how bad Lin beat me, I'm having second thoughts. So I should stick with whatever I can do. Ah, uh, I guess that was overkill on an amateur. The boy challenged me in poker. I tried to stop him by insisting that we play for actual money, but it didn't work. So I had to accept his challenge. I've still got a lot to learn, I guess. 
it's my nature to get up in arms so easily when challenged. I don't think that's ever going to change. But I can't believe that he managed to outwit me. Heh, <laughs> he's interesting, as I expected. I was messing with him in the first game, but I couldn't read him right. That's the first time I've ever misread someone. I've been using that ability on people in the slums. Their hands were clear to me if, uh, if I read their thoughts. But I can't read his mind at all, so I had to play without. Well, I still had other ways to cheat him anyway. It seems the boy didn't know that I cheated. What? She cheated? What? If I let him win, he might have started gambling in the slums. I wanted to stop that, no matter what it took. Ah, at least she cheated for good reasons, I guess. Why am I thinking like that? I don't care about anyone besides me. I'm trying hard to stay alive. I'm too busy to think about anyone else's business but my own. I have no interest in anyone else and no intention of dealing with them. I used to think about people that way. Am I getting senile? It's not like uh, me to think so much about that boy. It seems I've started thinking more and more about him. I told you she likes him. Well, she does. At first, I simply thought of him as a boy whose thoughts I couldn't read. And now, I've been training, eating, and playing poker with him. Nobody can predict what will happen to them. That's life. Well, there's no point overthinking things. Time to rest. I'm stricken with drowsiness while thinking, which isn't like me at all. But the sudden drowsiness isn't all that strange to me. I sleep whenever I want, and I wake whenever I want. That's the good life of living in the slum. The only good thing, I imagine. I'm not going to change that lifestyle, but... On the days the boys comes to visit, I should get up and train with him. It's not very like me to wake early for someone else. Who would have known that Tadayoshi would have such an impact on the uh, on Lin's life? I guess, but they're kind of having that impact on each other's life, right? Because she's helping Tadayoshi become stronger as well, both physically and I guess mentally somewhat as well. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.